Able to On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont. Hello and welcome to this edition of Able to Air, the one and only program that for the past years has been focusing on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able in Vermont and beyond. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm Lee Seiler. And on this field edition of Able to Air, we take a look again at Montpelier's infrastructure with Ann Watson, our distinguished mayor, and Tom McCardle, Director of Public Works of the Town of Montpelier, Vermont. Let's take a look at this field footage from Tom McCardle and Ann Watson talking about Montpelier's I infrastructure and the ADA compliance laws of buildings and city streets. Let's take a look at this. What do you do for the city of Montpelier? I'm the director of public works. And what exactly? I'm also the ADA coordinator oh, for the city. Oh, okay. To the manager. Uh, what exactly does that entail, being the ADA Oh, coordinator? my goodness. Exactly. <laughs> so the director of public works um, is a number of tasks, but oversees the, the overall department. Mm -hmm. On the ADA side of things, which is why we're here today, is um, uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act and Title II of the, of the Act, and that applies to municipalities and all the public facilities. So this is, what you've asked to look at is the, the public right-of-way aspect of the ADA. Uh, we've just completed a, an assessment, in fact, just sent it to you, the schedule and the list for all the municipal f uh, buildings and, um, and outdoor areas, such as Hubbard Park. So with us today is Ann Watson, the mayor of Montpelier. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, my name's Ann Watson, I'm the mayor of Montpelier. Do you need do you anything more? No. no? Okay. Great. Awesome. Well, I'm excited I mean, to. Not, this is not the Tonight Show. Yeah. <laughs> this is important. Well, I, I'm excited to go on this walk with you and see what uh, see what, what do you think the observations that, are. Uh, as far as infrastructure is concerned in the city of Montpelier, what do you think? Um, I know we can't fix everything in one day, um, you know, by the snap of our fingers here, but. Uh, how can we work together to fix this infrastructure? Well, I mean, I think the first step was to uh, get this pretty comprehensive report. And the plan, uh, it's an ADA transition plan, and um, it's a pretty great list of uh, things that city needs to be doing to make our, our town more accessible uh, and uh, compliant with ADA standards. And so from there, we're going to need to uh, prioritize what should be done first. And that, uh, I mean, we're going to be looking to the ADA committee uh, for a lot of input on that and uh, input into the budget for the next years to um, because because as you say we can't fix everything uh, immediately but as we um, you know try to decide what things have to have to happen first uh, or the, the um, it's hard it's, it is hard to prioritize that sort of thing because you know accessibility means different things to, to different uh, folks with different needs and so that that can, that can be absolutely tough but we're gonna see what we can do to um, just start working away at it one, one last question before we go on our walk um, as far as money is concerned because I know everything has to do with money and finances um, as far as the ADA Title II, is there a specific budget that's mandated, or is it is it go by quarter, goes by, mm -hmm. um, you know, by the amount of? Is it on the floor? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, for financing um, under the public right of way side of things, mm -hmm. um, first of all, that's overall assessment um, needs to be added to the plan. It's not currently included in the plan. The way we've been approaching it and, um, over the last several years is a substantial alteration is defined by a revision 
re reconstruction, repaving of a street. Um, and under that program, both federal, state, and local, we fund um, improvements to our crosswalk ramps um, as required under the ADA for an alteration. So that those monies are embedded in the projects for paving mm -hmm. and sidewalks. Um, so special projects where they're targeted to address a compliance issue. You mean emergency we did, projects? No, not an emergency, uh, just a, a targeted need uh, where a ramp doesn't exist or is non-compliant. Uh, we'll target money specifically for that in our capital improvement pro project. Mm. An example of that is around Vermont College. Uh, we have a couple more ramps to complete up there, but we did several of them under a specific targeted project under the CIP program. They're not identified as ADA compliance projects, but they are projects that, that are, um, we included as part of a sidewalk project, for example. We're going to rebuild a sidewalk, we'll build it in compliance with the ADA. Um, so it doesn't really matter one way or the other how we do it. So one way or the other, those projects are funded. Um, the Main Street where we're standing here today um, was funded by the Federal Highway, primarily. Um, the city had some money in the uh, roadway um, and sidewalks. Um, and under that project, the ramps were all rebuilt and all of them were assessed. You see the new tactile warning devices. There's still a number of um, punch list items left to be completed. Some of the ramps exceed the half inch maximum. So that's, that's the funding side of the public right away. The crosswalks, the, the speaking um, crosswalk signs, is that part of Montpelier's ADA compliance? Or crosswalk what? Signs or ramps? Signs, you no, know, when you push the button, it says uh, don't walk or stop. Some parts of Montpelier have those particular signs. Right, that's not, on, that's not under the ADA. But if you provide them, then they have to be accessible. And they have um, locatable tones for um, those that are not apparent, uh, or somebody who's caning would have trouble finding. And that's Maine and State, where you have a locator tone. The the fact that you have crosswalks, signs, or signalization is not under the ADA. But when you provide them, then they have to be compliant. Expediency, but I probably shouldn't park in there. What's that? Does everybody know that? Does everybody know what? That I'm the mayor? Probably not. <laughs> I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> You've got diplomatic <laughs> Yeah, right. No, no. Uh, so I'm wondering if I should move my car. You could, you could ask. I could just well, move it across the street right here. Okay. okay well, I'm going to. This is no parking, but right behind that car down there with the brake lights on. Yeah, okay. That is a parking spot. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm In fact, you've got that. room for two. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Diplomatic community. <laughs> Diplomatic community. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, sir. You, you, you make you make light of things, but you know, it's in, like. I was in a movie. Oh, diplomatic community. Yeah, this Which guy movie? was a uh, crook, drug dealer bad just bad person and he had he was a diplomat mm. and what he was doing was laundering money from drugs and um mm. and they thing. couldn't arrest him because and that that's actually true there's a movie um it had <clears throat> uh, uh some i forget who was in it but it was it was called barbershop about mm -hmm. these uh, it's a comedy about these guys the, this guy that owns a barbershop and it passed down from family you know his family and his barbershop gets robbed. And through this comedy, um, you know, somebody tries to steal an ATM machine. Anthony Anderson. Mm. If you know, you know, he's a comedian. Mm -hmm. So, like, no, I, that's not mine. You know, he kept on saying, mm -hmm. that's not mine, that's not mine. Um, and the ATM machine, and, and the cops questioned him, like, what's your ATM machine, what's this ATM machine doing in, in your living room? You know, and, and he, no, that's not mine. He, it's not mine. No, <laughs> he couldn't no open kidding. It. He no, couldn't open it. No kidding, it's not yours. You shouldn't have it. He tried to open it with a bat. Tried right. to open it with a pipe. But you know, uh, you know. Speaking of which, we, you know, we all here working as a team, and you know, 
stuff gets. Not all, not everybody remembers that. Well, it's in New York, where we came, where we came from, before we had where, um, you know, came to to Montpelier. Um, some of the ADA compliance there, their their accessible vans and and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, takes so long picking up people hey, and then. Good. How are you? Uh, doing well. How you doing? And then. You know, um, they say, oh, we're going to fix this, we're going to fix this, and it doesn't get fixed. We're talking about New York situation. Oh, yeah. I, I took my mother to uh, down in Connecticut, went through New York State, and, and um, I, was, I was disgusted with lack of accessible bathrooms and mm. Which accessible part of parking New York State? spaces. Um, parking rides? Cause just, all the well, we were on our way to Connecticut, so we were heading over to, what is that, 84. Okay, so that's what you see here. That way. Is that right? Actually a good way to go down. Yeah. Some of these here, the further you go up. I, these technically that, are all in compliance with the ADA. Mm. It's a half inch or more vertical rise. Mm. If it's more, it has to be rounded. Yeah. Um, the gap, I can't remember what the gap is, but I think that's in the half inch or three quarter inch range. Mm. So technically all of this is. Now, the other part of um, sidewalk design is cross slope. Mm -hmm. And the running slope. The cross slope can't be more than 2%. Okay. And a running slope can't be more than, I believe, 8 So uh, cross slope is that like side to side mm -hmm. and running slope is forward to backward? Right. Okay. So if you've ever tried to be in a, a tried out a wheelchair, yeah, and as I've tried it, it's pretty, it's it's a pain. Yeah. But when you're in a, a severe cross slope, <laughs> your tires trying to you have to put all the, uh, um, all the drive in the lower tire yeah, to lower. try to go straight. Right. And you have this sensation of trying to tip over. Got you. Right. right. And because you're otherwise. As you go up by right edge, you'll see some of that. You might you might want to. It would tend to tend to turn. That's right. Yeah. The steeper the cross slope, the more difficult it is. Yeah. And then it becomes un, not navigable. Gotcha. Driveways are some of the worst mm -hmm. uh, places and most difficult to design for a proper cross slope. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So here's a new ramp um, turn around. Uh, this thing. And they messed up the, the, the ramp thing, so they had to patch it. Oh yeah. It's yeah. not a great fat. Should these should these be more raised or lowered or what? These are these are for the visually impaired. Yeah. So it has to be color contrast. Mm -hmm. and the raised bumps are something you can do a tactile warning. So it tells somebody who's visually impaired that they're about to enter a traveling area. So these are these are compliant. Mm -hmm. uh, the the nice thing about this is that there's a green strip that makes but, but you do have to drop this grade as well. It's why you often, very often see the sidewalk is reconstructed on either side of the ramp because mm. we have to drop this to oh, meet that slope. But the problem so you gotta meet the meet the grade. Yeah. One of the problems that you run in, especially with this, like uh, when it gets um, overly wet during wet weather, ice or something like that, this gets slippery. They can, yes. So there's got to be some kind of warning. You know, that was in project development. It's got to be better than 10 years. Hmm. Trying to come up with a, with a suitable tactile warning oh, interesting. system. But, but yeah. there are these little bumps in between are, are your skid resistant. Mm -hmm. And then these get worn off a little bit. See the little bumps on top of the bumps? Mm -hmm. That's for skid resistance. <laughs> mm. hmm. Interesting. And that's really the only state approved tactical warning. They, some, most of them failed miserably. Oh no. The only one that, that's now approved is, is the cast one? iron. Huh. Yeah. Do you want us to be notifying you or do sure. you? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I mean, and this is not, a, this is not, you know, this is a no judgment question. Like, what, what would be the process from there? Like, we let you know and then. Summer or depends on the severity of the hazard. Uh, 
I do. We'll develop a work order. Mm -hmm. um, that will. That's a, a fairly simple patch. Yeah. Basically, they block off the shoot the whole. Patch. They, block the, they block the shoot the whole entire day, or, or no. Um, to patch that, uh, we can usually maintain pedestrian traffic on that. That's that's not a very long. We've got to clean it out. We'll fill it with uh, with the concrete. Okay. This is this is that would be considered a uh, uh, non-compliant. And when they're non-compliant for for the ADA, they're also very <laughs> often a trip and fall hazard for anybody. Sure. Is that is that because of the um, people who drag their feet? That's the why. why. This is all because of the weather situation? A lot of this is, uh, it's a very brutal climate and we have uh, very poor soils in Montpelier. It's a glacial till, silty soils, so they're not well drained. And we get a lot of frost action in our soils and then the very harsh climate. Mm. Sidewalks are plowed, so it allows the frost to penetrate deeper. Mm. And then, as <coughs> we all know, um, when water freezes, it expands and they don't always settle back once they thaw out. So f for something like this, uh, would the solution be that you just end up grinding down the, the we have a We have a neat edge. grinder that does that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Mm. I mean, should that be a hazard? I wouldn't consider that a hazard. I would, uh, yeah. that, that's what I'm going for. Uh, this one, this one up here? This one up here? Yeah. Somebody in the wheelchair, my brother was working on that. This is bad. This is this has gotten to a point where it needs to be replaced. And replaced I means it's as opposed to patching it. So I would cut this mm -hmm. this whole this square panel out. Yeah. And, and, remove and, replace. and is that because there's this crack in the middle of it as well? Yeah. There's no salvaging here. And you're hitting right into the parking lot of the church. Yeah, so these, this, are, uh, these are access issues. They have a second driveway. So this, so th this crew would be okay if we blocked. Yeah, we have, have second to access. Them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that is getting to be a pretty good gap there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We do have a, a sidewalk contract with this release, so but I was also looking at down in front of the uh, the inn and Gary home. Mm -hmm. um, I should have pointed that out where the sidewalk is lower than the curb. Sidewalks are meant to drain to the street. Okay, yeah. They're designed with a quarter inch per foot or about 2%. Mm -hmm. Through to that and to the street. So Down there it's a sunken sidewalk. Oh, so it's lower than yeah, the no curve. There's no water to go. And, and then so the water's going to go into the sidewalk. And then the it freezes. Walk. Yeah, and... that's no good. So do all of, I'm just maybe, uh, I'm not sure if I'm noticing this exactly now, but at least it seems true for this little patch here. But uh, are the sidewalks all sort of tipped towards the road yes. for drainage? Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know if that's a great design, because that's where we store our snow, and then that freezes. Yeah. And then there's yeah. no place for the water to go. So um, we try to work with our sidewalk <coughs> plow operator and our, to every once in a while <coughs> cut a little hole. Okay. Just push out into that mm -hmm. and it'll let the water drain. Once the water is flowing, it'll make its own path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now as we go up here. So we have to keep reminding them and do as that we once go in a while. up here, further we go up, some of it slopes this part here. It, like um, as you go as you go towards um, city center. Do you understand that Main Street's the flattest street we have in Montpelier? It is. It's okay. a flatter, flatter to pancake. <laughs> so flat that it's tough to drain. Mm. Oh. It's very unique for Montpelier because everything else is Everything else is so sloped. <laughs> and you're talking about a slope. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of funny. But yes, there is a very gradual rise up to, all the way up to Ferry Street, the Main Street Bridge. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe, maybe two feet the whole way. Hmm. Interesting. So this is getting to be. This is close. close. Yeah, and I think if I were to have done this over again, I would put a control joint here, not a construction joint. Oh, what is the? Can you? What does that mean? Well, a control joint is it's a design for the concrete shrinks. 
cracks. Over time? Yeah, well, as it, as it cures. Oh, okay, yep, yep. And what you're trying to do is, is control where that cracking occurs. Okay. So you put in a joint. Okay. And there's probably a little crack in here if that was cut deep enough. Uh-huh. As opposed to a, a, a construction joint, which is actually a form joint, so the concrete isn't actually connected. Oh, okay. So like here, this panel is in fact connected to that it's panel. connected to that. But there's yeah. this groove. That's right. And yeah. there's, <clears throat> there may or may not be a, a crack in there. Got you. Uh, okay. Because that's where you're forcing the crack to occur. But here, this, like this panel is not actually connected right. to this. Right. And because of that, there's some differential settling. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, yep. They don't, they don't rise and Yeah, they're not together. together. Right. Yeah. And, and so probably. So I probably take this out with a grinder too. You mean to like shave it? And it has been done here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks, it definitely looks like it's been ground down. And it looks like it's getting close to. Yeah. Needing that, well, like it looks like it's been ground down here as well. But it's it's close. And my self is visually impaired, because I am, you know. Uh -huh. um, sometimes, especially at night, one of the things that we could work on is possibly maybe. <clears throat> If it's in the budget, uh, ADA budget, to have reflectors of sorts in the, on the sidewall, or because I know some of the roads when you drive in you have reflectors, but what about those that on the sidewalk? Yeah. So reflectivity is is uh, relies on a headlight. Ah. So there's not gonna it's gonna be dark unless you shine a light on it because it's a prism light, that reflects some kind the light of extra back. Extra light maybe. But yeah, so sidewalk level lighting. So down in this area, we have just the area lights for both the streets and sidewalks. Mm -hmm. When we get downtown, we have both pedestrian and the, and the 30 foot lamps. Hmm. Yeah, so the pedestrian lamps are like the ones on that Montpelier sign? Or yep, yep, that, there's that one in there. Yep. Yep. Let's see. I don't know, man, good. So we had a, a disability awareness day at a, a farmer's market. Oh, mm. wow. And brought the wheelchairs down and different uh, goggles. We brought them down from uh, Sheila with the Vermont Association for the Blind. Oh, yeah, there. sure. And it simulated different eye conditions. Uh -huh. um, and I tried out the ones that are, that are fully blind. Oh, really? Because I wanted to find our new pedestrian button. <laughs> yeah, how was that? But, I could hear it. It really do focus. Really? In hearing. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But I had to get close. Mm. Interesting. Huh. I had to be close. I okay. had to know kind of where to listen. Interesting. Some of the street down here, if you notice. Here's some severe, more severe cross slope. I was noticing this the other day. Yeah. 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 You, we can tell that there, it's definitely sloping towards the road. You got it. <laughs> yeah. That's probably in the five percent. Oh, really? Four to five percent. Huh. Probably so, so more than it probably should be. Yeah, it's probably twice what it should be. Yeah. Interesting. So I'm not wrong, but it just looks like it needs to be fixed. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wonder, gosh, I mean, for something like that, this, this seems tough because otherwise it doesn't, I mean, maybe that one up there, it otherwise doesn't look like a, it's a trip hazard. Mm -hmm. No, um, here's some grinding we did. I think we did have some trip involved here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a recent grinding. Uh huh. They don't look too bad. Those are pretty good. Yeah, job. it's just it's just. Uh, the cross so, slope is too much. Mm -hmm. um, seems like that would be a bigger job to fix if it's like like this part right here. It's mm -hmm. uh, pretty. Yeah, and usually in you got to pull the curb. Oh yeah. So the, it, yeah, it that makes get sense. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Now when it's it all granite, the nice thing about it is you can granite curb you can reuse. Sure. So you well, remove, reset. So you could actually take out this section of granite yep. curb. And then, and then would you just redo, you would redo these panels and then put the curve back? No, you put the curve back first. You, okay, okay. Gotcha. Run about two feet out into the road, reset your curve to grade, Yeah. patch your, your curb in, and then you set your grade for the sidewalk. And I'd replace all this all the way up to uh, uh, about where that shadow is from the tree. Now, when it comes to like some of the business in downtown, um, there is like one particular business that's not accessible, uh, which is the pizza shop. Um, What's the pizza shop? The um, Positive Pie is. No, no, not Positive Pie. The other one. Bluestone. Bluestone. Oh yeah. 
It's not accessible. The bathrooms are not accessible whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that we could talk uh, through the ADA committee, talk to the business owner um, about making it more accessible or something like that? There's no ramp whatsoever. Well, the way we do it currently is is um, through the, the building permit process. Um, but there are architectural exemptions for historic building. So it's, the, a, it's a historic building? Yeah, so those there are architectural hardships that are hard difficult to overcome. Um, what about a so the, where ramp? the the property owner really um, needs to be committed and there are some grants available through um, Oh, the housing and community development um, says. Um, oh, because it housed the diner first. Is that why it's... It, it's um, well, I'll give you an example. Um, Three Penny yeah. uh, worked with us in the committee on... Um, and, and they're actually recognized by the Vermont Center for Independent Living mm -hmm. for making the modifications. But that was a larger renovation project. They were rebuilding that mm -hmm. from a bookstore or whatever it was to a restaurant. So they had the whole place gutted. Oh, to, so. to simply retrofit, modify a place that isn't all their, all, um, already undergoing renovations, mm -hmm. it, it becomes much more difficult and challenging. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something you, we work with our building department mm -hmm. um, to encourage property owners to do that. And we gotta remember that these are customers that they're missing out on. They can't get into their building. So it's it's so really these, incentivizes. It's, well, if you figure the whole world or majority of the nation has a challenge of some kind. Of some kind. Yeah, I forget the numbers, but I, I think it's somewhere in the order of the 15 to 20 percent population have a, have a mobility disability. Hmm. Um, then there are those that are silent as well. Yeah, there's there are other Deafness, disabilities. There's many, many that qualify under the ADA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the mobility um, challenge is, is the one that that's a real that's a true barrier, mm -hmm. a stare. Some of this, see? Oh. What a pain in the neck that can be. Oh, look at that. What's that? It's so, it's such a critical point. What's wrong with the this castration? Point? This point right here? Nothing wrong with the basin, it's the pipe. There's a huge telephone pipe. Oh, really? The pipe, the pipe is shallow and it's small. Okay. So, so you it, it just... You scratch marks, we're always cutting ice. So it just doesn't, because it... A telephone... Is there a telephone and, and, wire in there? Oh, there's made, see those two manholes? Yep. There are huge telephone hooks. There's another one over there. There's three over there. Yeah, well, one's like three. But this was, has always been the telephone hub. What do you mean? Uh, oh, because because that building. Yeah. Right. And if you look up in the sky, you don't see any wires. Which is really nice about my building. It's pretty nice. Pretty it's pretty power. Power. A ramp. Mm-hmm. And I remember when they were doing that, I told them, it's nice you're trying, but it's way too steep. Mm -hmm. So you told them that? Yeah, yeah. 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 So unless they're under... Um, and State Street also. Under a state down. permit requirement, they're not obligated to do it. So it's really, a lot of it is just encouraging mm -hmm. to do it. It's showing them that it's... Um, very often you can remove some, some they call readily removable barriers. Mm -hmm. Aisles, just moving your products back. Equipment back also. Yeah, make it wide enough. Get into those architectural issues. That has a floor slab that's um, this is uh, would have had to remove. This is also a problem. Okay. That that is right there. Yep, and some some cracking here that needs to be worked on. Well, the time, yeah, you said it, 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 that place has architectural damage. That's what you were saying. Right, right. So, but that's a floor slab. Define floor. Define a floor slab when it comes to stuff like this. 
So your your ramp or your floor, the main floor of the restaurant, mm -hmm. is at a higher grade than the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, so to to modify, something has to give. Either you raise the sidewalk or lower the floor. Or you do both. Mm. And when you're dealing with a floor grade, you're now into the structural members. There mm -hmm. very often isn't enough any play in a floor to drop it. What we have done in a couple of locations, and we did out over here with uh, Three Penny, is they made an architectural change internally. We allowed the sidewalk to also be lifted. So we kind of met in the middle. Um, in some cases that can be done, that's a good solution. But not in all cases, because we can't then put the city sidewalk out of compliance by raising it too much. Sure. We worked with the state on a grant over on Elm Street at Court. Mm. Um, oh, that restaurant just changed hands again. I think it was Korean, but over by uh, Uncommon Market. If you look at that next time you're over there, you'll see how the it, city it, sidewalk oh, was hippie raised. Chickpea? Hippie it's, chickpea. Yeah, it's chickpea yeah. now. Yeah, right. Yeah. We brought the sidewalk up, and it's right on the borderline of being compliant. Huh, huh. But we provide worked with them and provided an accessible entrance to the store. Huh. Sorry. Sorry to, to go yeah, off yeah. the got a complaint about this this winter. Uh, so I related to the property owner. So did I, I, I called them on several occasions, mm -hmm. and I had mentioned to you I had called, yeah. but, and, and. I think it's three feet wide, barely. Yeah, so they're, they're actually not three feet wide, so. Because as you go it's with a, the wheelchair, it's like, it's Minimal too narrow feet. and it bumps into it, yeah. Hmm. And that's probably not a wide enough turnaround area, so this was built really before the, the Architectural Barriers Act. They, uh, they probably weren't under those standards. I think this was in the 80s. Yeah. This would be a major project to rebuild. But is this too. private? This is private. This is all private property. Can you but it's a public through? building, so they're under Title III. So, so because it's, they allow public access, Okay. Or provide public access. Yeah. They have their restaurants, their offices. <laughs> They're under obligation to to meet the standard during a renovation. Oh, okay. So if they were to ever renovate, they would have to bring it up. They, to standard. Okay. Yeah. And is that and, well, any part of it or just this part? Of it? it would have to be I, this aspect of it. Okay. So um, I saw him. I saw them paint the this that but this was a fit. Yeah. Right. New paint job. That's, that, that's not a substantial alteration under the uh, ADA. Painting is not substantial. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gosh, because I mean, it, it seems like because yeah, I mean, the concrete's kind of coming apart here. So if they were ever going to say like, well, we're going to re repair the concrete, that would turn into you might a you major might trigger job. it um, that way, but it's yeah. Or or you know, I, I was thinking this was at least three feet wide, and they just had some um, some issues like our cider in the building. They have another ramp out back, but they've closed that off. That entrance. That entrance. Wow. So I think somebody might press the point, you have an accessible entrance. But why did they close um, it? Is there a reason? I don't know the reason of that. Hmm. But that would be an alternative, an interim solution. Hmm. Under the ADA, you were, were required to provide equal access. Mm -hmm. So it's it's... It's frowned upon to have somebody. Yeah. It's not really equal, right. but as an interim measure, that would be suitable. Mm -hmm. City Hall is an architectural um, barriers, and, and there's an exemption, so people would understand why you use that. the back entrance. And it's very often the back entrance is the front I've entrance the for meetings. Entrance. Sure, yeah. yes. Yeah. So it it's not really problem. that unequal yeah. because everybody else is using that door. Yeah, it's true. But this building, it would be. That, to me, that would be a good interim solution, particularly in the winter months where this is, that's when I got the complaint, it was icy, not maintained. They shoveled the walkway, but they didn't clean this out, so. And some of the doors, there are, work, like the timer is off, and it closes early, and it's like, you know, is there a way to fix that as, as well? That's well? not an equal access issue, if everybody's, prevented from going in the building and they have a lockout that's mm -hmm. that's fine 
Um, it's how that door operates. No more than five pounds pressure, and you can't twist and grab. So, and if you can't meet that standard, then you can do the automatic. You can push the button. Was, Don't was the know if they working? have those. Hmm? Was the button working? It, it works and it doesn't work. Remember okay. we went through it that day and it. Yeah. Some, it, it does have a button. Yeah. Okay. I can it, it, it closes. Uh huh. And it, it, it closes too early. Some of them are on, like the one, the one in uh, Friday. Some of, you know, that one works, but it, they're on a timer, and if the timer is off. Oh, so right. you're saying that when it, while it opens, it doesn't stay open long enough? No. It, it, okay. It, and it, it slams. Oh, open. there's a there's a time, yeah. yeah. So it, it huh. can't Slam. it can't bump you and knock you over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they have to close gradually and interesting. slowly. Interesting. That seems. Yeah. That, that would be an interesting. That's a maintenance. That's an adjustment yeah. issue. You should, yeah. Should be able to just adjust. Right. Mm -hmm. Adjust that. Alright, so we're, did you say we're headed towards Subway? Yeah, we're okay. on State Street, so, like, some of this, um, see, some of this is like, is that bad? Or yeah, what is, uh... Splitting a pump? Mm, something we keep an eye on, and it's not a, not a priority with so many other things. Hmm? What if it got worse? Yeah, this one's getting a little bit... It's getting a big gap right there. That one I would fix. Yeah. Trying to get something in the background for my landmark. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So it's not just a piece Straight of down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. No idea. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. See, like, this is a lot Sorry, sorry, not getting here. Like some of this um, along here, where it splits, or somewhat yeah, splits. We've got some work to do on the bridge. Too. Which bridge is this? Up here. From an ADA perspective, we replaced this. Oh yeah. This yeah, was I mean, all done with a paving project. So I was gonna say this definitely all that looks was fine new. Just a few years ago. Yep. Yep. And I'll yeah, this was. Do you see? This was patched also. Isn't that funny? It, was the, it looks like it was actually lower. What's that? We're not across the street, though. Uh. Yeah. So. It's, this is. State they paved it. I presume it was a little bit too low, or it may have been a puddle. So they maybe they grind, they ground it, and then added it there to try you to ground it off. It. Yeah. Make a roughened surface. So that it was here. Uh huh. <laughs> so you might grind off too. Yeah. Put back one. Okay, got you. Uh -huh. Oh, it's already on the list. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. cool. This is a tricky one. You can't replace the walk. What do you mean? Because it is the bridge. Oh, this. This, this is, is considered the, this, the bridge? This is the bridge Well, because it is a bridge. Oh, yeah. Because right? we're over the river right now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, so all we can do is patch it. So, like, because, like, it looks, I'm guessing, like, from this panel right here, because there's this crack here, that this would otherwise be one that you'd be like, oh, let's replace this panel. Right. But you can't right now. No. There's a steel plate underneath this. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, someday we'll be replacing this bridge. Replacing the bridge or fixing replacing. the bridge? It's a replacement. Replacing. Yeah. Okay. And replacing the bridge? So when that happens, that will probably include this. Everything. Is there anything to prevent the cracks in the sidewalk you do it? Or, because then you got to do all the work do what? over again. All the work that you do, cleaning stuff up, Right, and then you have a water main break, then you gotta do everything over again that was a problem. Huh? I'm not really following. It's caused by the excavation to repair it. Mm -hmm. So it's it all has to be restored. So if it whatever, sorry. whatever was impacted by the water main through our own actions or by the cause, by the failure, mm -hmm. um, it's all replaced in kind new. 
So, for example, Elm Street, we just patched the sidewalk with asphalt for the winter. That will be replaced with concrete and granite shortly. Hmm. So. Anything else you want to say when we wrap this up? Um, no, just uh, thanks for thanks for doing this tour. Anything yeah. you want to wrap up? Say no, wanna... no. I think uh, I think it's important that we uh, let folks know that we're aware of this. Um, ADA awareness is is important, and um, that every community has um, has this this uh, challenge to try to stay up with it uh, and meet meet the their obligations under the ADA for equal access. Sure. It might be a little yeah. steep, but it's workable. I would think the bigger issue is the width of that door. Yeah, yeah. Please. And, and the way it pulls out. Yeah. It should go in so that really? the air can I have thought that the exterior door. Well, see, that's a fire issue, yeah, too. It's a fire issue, right? right. That supposed to go. Ableton On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disability to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont.